Hello viewers, welcome back to Sister Noyes Corner. Yeah, I'm out outside again from work, trying to get some steps in, but I felt this need to continue to pray for the people of Ukraine and Russia. Guys, Bible made it clear. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet. For Zion's sake, we're not going to be silent. Guys, I'm an intercessor. I'm an intercessor. What we do is lift people before the Lord. That's what our Lord Jesus Christ does. Also, he sits at the right hand of God and intercedes for us. He continually offers prayer on our behalf. So we pray. These prayers are not wasted. God hears, God answers. Jesus is there interceding for us. So today I felt also the need to continue to pray for you. Pray and Russia. Continue to pray that God will soften the heart of uh, the leaders. That Tony heart that God will replace it with a heart of flesh. We're going to leave Putin before God that God will touch his heart and every one of them in authority. The leaders of uh, uh, Ukraine also, that God will touch them. Guys, we're going to pray for immediate ceasefire. Immediate ceasefire to take effect even as we speak. Immediate ceasefire. Guys, like I said in my previous video praying for Ukraine, that when it touches one country it touches the whole world. Guys, in Ukraine now, African students, American students, American uh, people, African, every people from all places are stranded. They are refugees in the borders of uh, Ukraine. These people depend on us. To give financially support in any way we can for their existence support so they can you know be catered and cared for these are people so when it touch one country it touches everybody this war need to cease this war need to cease let's cry to our god god has a way of doing it we may not understand but god will do it god will make bring a ceasefire for the war of uh, Russia and Ukraine. We pray that God will touch um, Putin. He will touch Zelensky. Touch all of them that are in authority and bring an end to this war that is ongoing for eight days now. Soldiers are being killed. People are being killed. Civilians are being killed. You know, properties are being wasted. Things that people spend money to build. They are lost everything because of war. God hear our prayer for Ukraine. God hear our prayer. Let me read this scripture and then we're going to pray. Scripture is a Psalm 33, 8 to 12. It says, let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world reverence him for he speaks and it comes to be he commands and he stood firm the lord foils the plans of nations he thwarts the purposes of the people but the plan of the lord shall stand firm forever the purposes of his heart through all generations. The plan of the Lord shall stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations. Word of God doesn't lie. God has a plan and a purpose for his people. His plan will supersede that of man. It will stand forever. So we're going to pray. God, you are the God that was the plan. A plan of the people. God, what all the plan against your people in Ukraine, the plan to destroy, the plan that is going on now for eight days, God, as they gather, scatter them for your sake, for Ukraine's sake, we cannot be quiet. 
for the people of Russia, civilians, we cannot be quiet. God, we are praying. The heart of the kings, they are in your hands. You turn them where you want them to be, God. We are praying that you touch the heart of the government, the heart of Putin, God, that you replace that stony heart with a heart of flesh, a heart that is obedient to your word. Even if he doesn't know you, God, that he will come to reason with his people, that there will be a ceasefire. There will be a ceasefire where they will deliberate Ongoing, the ongoing deliberation of how to end this war. It's going on for eight days. God, hear our prayers. What is going on? Lives are being wasted. All these soldiers, they are children of you, God. Lives are being wasted. God, we pray that that plan be foiled and that plan be thwarted. We thank you for testimonies that are coming forth. We hear what you're doing already, God. As the soldiers prayed, God, you, the wind came and diverted the craft that wanted to drop all those soldiers and the bombs in, in their country. God, we thank you. We thank you that you still save them. We thank you that you're still pushing them back in some area. But God, there will be an end to this. We pray for an end. An end to this war. An end to this war. We pray for peaceful negotiation in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that freedom will return back to Ukraine. That freedom of democracy, freedom to live life the way they want it in their country, God, will be granted and they will return to their original place, original position, God. We thank you that you're God. We thank you that you hear your listen to your people. God, hear us, God, regarding Ukraine, regarding the people, God, that their lives are being wasted. In the name of Jesus, everything they have are being wasted, God. God, we say, King of glory, hear us, God. Restore, restore. Let there be immediate ceasefire. Let there be immediate ceasefire. Oh God, are these people will come to reason, God. They will come to reason, God. Because we know who suffers, God. When two elephants suffer, is the fight, is the grass that suffers, God. You see the refugees, God, in the borders of Ukraine. We see so many Nigerian, so many African students, so many American students students so many students of different parts of the world stranded that are wasting god they cannot go anywhere god that depend on us god god also calls us to give to the cause of the freedom in the name of jesus christ thank you god for the many volunteers thank you for the christian volunteers thank you for people who have sold into this in the name of jesus christ so many people have sold in to see that these people, the resources are provided to the refugees. Thank you, God. Families are torn apart. Children are not staying with the family. They're not staying with mothers. They're not staying with fathers. They are stranded. They are left with strangers. God, we thank you, God, that you still provided, you still kept them safe. We pray that you continually keep them in your care, God. You provide for them. They are sustenance, God. And you unite them back to their families in no time, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing us thank you for your plan for uh, uh you, you ukraine we know god the end shall be great we know god you have a plan and a purpose your plan supersedes that of man like your words say you toward the plan of people god but your plan stands to still and is from generation to generation so shall it be for ukraine the plan for freedom god shall reign in ukraine from generation to generation no enemy shall toward this we thank you for this give you praise god we exalt you we thank you for hearing us god thank you you sit in heaven and the earth is your food so you hear as you answer you are god that hears you are god that answers prayer we thank you god for you are not insensitive to our cries you are the god that identifies with everything we identify with so we thank you for you praying we thank you for russia thank you for the people of russia king of glory we know they are not even like this god but we know like we said it's bad government father hear our cry hear the cry of your people and bring your people together russia and ukraine they are the same same them and same them pens, the same people god oh hear our prayer god in the name of jesus christ 
God, we thank you this afternoon. Thank you for immediate ceasefire, God. Come through to your people. Come through. Touch the heart of Putin, God. That he will come to reason. That he will come to reason, God. To negotiate, King of Glory, for safety of people and property. God, thank you. God, thank you. We're just ending pandemic. We're into this again. Oh, God, for Jerusalem's sake, we will not be quiet. For Zion's sake, we will not keep quiet. We will not, God. We call on you. You that hears you that answers. We thank you. We thank you for the result that is coming out too. Thank you for your prayer. Thank you for answered prayer. Thank you for fighting the battle for them. You say we shall be quiet and we will fight our battle. Fight your battle. For the many Christians and many churches in Ukraine, God. Oh, God, fight our battles, God. We trust you. We trust you. Your people trust you, God. Your people trust you, God. No matter what they say, God, we still put our trust in you. For you are God that change it now. Oh, changeable changer. Thank you, God, for this outcome shall be so wonderful. We bless your name. We exalt you. We magnify your name. Be glorified. Be adored. Be honored, God, even you, as you honor these prayers. Glory, dominion, authority, might, and majesty be yours. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God, I thank you. Thank you for answered prayer for Ukraine. Thank you for saving those lives and property. Thank you for this ceasefire that is coming. Thank you. Thank you for the contributions of the nations of the world. Thank you for the many that has given God to good cause. The many that have given cause for cause of freedom, God. Thank you that they will continue to give for the refugees. They will continue to give for families that are torn apart, God. That we will, un they will unite with their loved ones. Blessed be your name. Exalted be your name. Thank you for this afternoon. All glory go back to you, God. We shall hear testimonies of your goodness in this land of the living. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you just come across your watching Sister Nanya's corner, please follow me and pray. Pray for Ukraine. Pray for Russia. Pray, pray, pray. pray. God hears prayer. Pray for ceasefire that they will come to resolve this problem. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ because people are touched. In my language they say uh, when two elephants fight the grass is the one that suffers. Hmm? We cannot keep quiet. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Please share my video. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Okay? Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.